Hello and welcome to the Geneva International Motor Show. Uh, so it's a big day for us today because one, we are a uh, car of the year with the new Scenic, which is an amazing thing. So thank you to the jury for this. But also, obviously, it's the launch of the new R5 E-Tech Electric. I'm very tempted to give you my own tour of that amazing project, which was very challenging for us since we've shown a concept car three years ago with the promise that we would deliver that into production. Okay, so let's start this tour with uh, the description of the exterior design and what was the challenge, what was the intent behind that car. The game was to identify what would be the elements of recognition of the original car. The front lights of the original five, very sparkly, with very uh, lively front lights. The fog lamps, which are now becoming the day running lights. But also, you have this line coming from the turbo, this red line surrounding the roof. You have those wild shoulders, wheel arches, front and rear, coming also from the turbo and giving an amazing stance to, to the car. In the back, you will find vertical tail lights, maybe coming from the Super 5, more, more like. And the game now was to not feel vintage. We wanted to execute the design in a very thorough manner so that everything would feel futuristic, would feel modern and not vintage. You know, Renault is les voitures à vivre, uh, cars for living. And you want to have this emotional connection with the car. It's not just a piece of technology that moves you from A to B. And so this little display of the charging, of course, I can have this information on my phone, but having the car express itself about its status, the energy it has inside is a very delightful thing to have on your daily life, you know, in, the, in your relation with your car. And now let's switch in the interior. If you look at the dashboard, for instance, there was many dashboards like this with the two layer kind of sculpture in our history and that's very interesting to use because it's not so intrusive it feels slimmer and thinner and more optimized and lightweight so that was a really good trick to do and of course we have those vertical lines here stitching lines that were or existed in the 70s in fact in the cars if you look at the instrument panel the old cars had a massive chunk of black plastic with needles inside and even you could see the screws inside the plastic now it's High resolution pixels, obviously, nice screens. We have Google built in the system. And we also have our little avatar, Reno, to which you can talk to do very many things in the car. You can ask this little avatar to lower the windows, change the temperature, and do very many, many things in, in terms of interaction uh, with the car. The seat I'm sitting on has been inspired by the turbo version of the Renault 5. We asked ourselves a question. Um, we want to do a retro futuristic design exercise, of course, but we wanted our kids who maybe don't know about the old Renault 5, we wanted our kids to, to be able to be attracted to this car for what it is today, for what it represents for the future in terms of function, but also emotion. So I invite you to discover uh, our new Renault 5 here in Geneva on the stand to discover it online, obviously, because we are pretty much everywhere at this point of the day uh, online. And uh, stay tuned for the next news about this car, because there is, in fact, more to come.